Well, good afternoon. We're here at the uh, Cumberland Mine uh, car shop, our locomotive shop, where we do all repairs for the, our cars. And we got this, uh, we've got all hopper cars here. These are uh, five bay bottom discharge hoppers. And uh, we, got it, we got this end jacked up right now. Pull this uh, truck set out. Um, saw this car down going down the track today and I reported it as a bad order car so they pulled it out and uh, see this right here it's called a side bearing it's a uh, bolted to uh, huck bolted to the bolster the bolster is the piece that goes across there and uh, this this is the problem see on this side the uh, the holder the side bearing holder broke out so there's no side bearing over here it was leaning over a little bit and uh, that's what uh, actually holds the car body onto the truck set not much the side bearings don't actually uh, function they're not supposed to function as a uh, weight distribution point what they are supposed to do is help this truck set actually uh, swivel around the curve but because of some of our track conditions we got some low joints and some soft track and the, the cars rock as they go up and down the track and it puts a lot of extra weight on those side bearings and uh, they wear out break so we actually had a car here uh, uh, three weeks ago that uh, had a broken side bearing on it and the car body was uh, actually tilted over almost two feet up the top it was really scary uh, they was able to get it dumped and when it dumped the car body uh, right and back up so uh, there's two actually two styles of those uh, side bearings I don't know if I got if we got one laying around over here I'll show you the other style yeah here it is great we got one right here uh, this is the uh, older style this uh, actually bolts in there and then you got these cylinders I think these actually function a little better uh, than the than the round ones do but anyway and these are shim plates uh, if uh, and, and the wear plates that actually these uh, wear plates here fold up to the underside of the truck and uh, they sit in there like that and there's about there's supposed to be about a uh, quarter inch gap with that body and that uh, between that side bearing these are got uh, waiting jacks we actually can uh, four of them in here and can uh, lift our locomotive up and do often with these uh, four jacks they're pretty heavy duty so anyway they're uh, Wanted to show you the uh, we've had a lot of side bearings break here in the last uh, three or four months so I uh, wanted to show you that today and uh, thank you for watching and you all have a good day